Um, <laughs> you know, I've I've seen a lot of um, brutality and, and violence in horror movies. A lot. All different kinds, too. But it has been a while since I've seen a movie this brutal. And I mean brutal. But I'm getting ahead of myself here, so let's rewind for a second. I'm Lindsay. This is my review for When Evil Lurks. I, I had seen people talking about this film just a little bit online, just saying that this film is bold. That's a fucking understatement. <laughs> but it, it didn't look like something that would come and screen in my neck of the woods, that's for sure. I noticed that one of the theaters here was doing a screening. They just had one showtime, and it was at five o'clock on a Tuesday. So I was like, I better go see this movie. I was figuring I'd be the only one there, but two other young gentlemen walked in right before it started and sat down front. And I do have to say, I did like this movie. I thought it was a good movie. I liked the story. The acting is good. The writing is good. This film is a Spanish language film, so it had subtitles. But, uh, the, like, the synopsis for this movie that is on IMDb and stuff just says, In a remote village, two brothers find a demon-infected man just about to give birth to evil itself. They decide to get rid of the man, but merely succeed in spreading the chaos. And that synopsis is so tame compared to what happens in this movie. I was sucked in completely to what was going on up in the screen. My jaw was on the floor at several points, especially the initial hit of horrific violence, because they don't turn away from it. You don't get a cutaway, you don't get quick cuts, like uh, like sometimes in horror movies they do all these quick cuts and up close things to kind of amp up the horror, I would say. No, this is, you're just sitting there watching it happen and you can't look away. It's haunting. And after that initial like first shock of holy fuck, this film is pulling no punches. The rest of the movie, you're just sitting there with this sense of dread, like what the fuck is gonna happen next? The practical mixed with some digital, I believe in this movie are really well done, really well done. And not just straight up blood and gore, there's other stuff going on here. And if you are looking for a possession type film to watch uh, this month, this film tells a much better story um, than the Exor the new Exorcist movie does. But if you're looking uh, for something fun, this ain't it. Th this is this movie's not fun, and that's not to knock the film, because it's not going for fun. <laughs> It is not going for fun. This is not a date movie. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> like if there's someone where you just, you don't know how to say the words to break up with them, just take them to this movie. They won't talk to you anymore. <laughs> and when I left the theater, I, I, I felt almost shell-shocked because it, this movie guts you. This movie does not give you a break. It gives you zero hope. It's just one fucking travesty after another. And I don't mean travesty of like what they're doing on screen is a travesty. It's just horrible things are happening. Oh my God. The look of this film is phenomenal. I love how this movie looks. The cinematography is great. The color palette is great. The shot compositions that they do are amazing. And this movie is, oh my God. I wouldn't say it's scary in like atmosphere. It's scary because you know the unholy hell that this movie will unleash on the most defenseless things. 
that's the fright in this movie. That's the terror that at any moment they will show you something truly horrifying. The thing that pops into my head that I could compare it most to is maybe like French New Wave of the early 2000s. That level of brutality and nastiness, but an but a strange elegance about it at the same time. And I like the cultural aspect of this story. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. I don't know if any of it's true, but it's very interesting. I don't know if I could recommend this movie because it, it'll fuck you up, okay? <laughs> I'm swearing way too much in this video, but I, I that's, that's the word that comes to mind right now, <laughs> thinking of this movie, just, Fuck. <laughs> After watching this movie, I feel like I need like a hug and a palate cleanser. Like tomorrow, I'm not watching anything except like cartoons from my childhood. The fun ones. Not the trauma-laden Don Bluth ones. I'm talking like maybe some uh, Thundercats. Even that might be too intense after watching this movie. Are the gummy bears on Disney Plus? I think I could handle the gummy bears after this movie. <laughs> but if you if if you do go see this movie or when it uh I think uh Shudder's going to have it here pretty soon. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know it's a Shudder film. Just know you're going to see some shit. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this review. I just wanted to pop on here, give my quick thoughts. I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to see this movie on the big screen, so I had the opportunity, I took it, and I wanted to come tell you guys all about it. But that's gonna do it for this little video, so until next time, this is Lindsay signing off. I'll check you later.